Hey, what's up guys? Andy here. I uh, wanted to show you guys uh, the setup for my outrigger system for my Hobie Evolution 13. And uh, this is the outrigger kit I got from uh, Expandercraft. They are located in Florida. Let me show you walk around first. So this uh, outrigger kit is from Expandercraft. You can check out their website later on. The details are in the video description below. And um, this downrigger kit is it's a 13 foot long outrigger. Consists of three sections, the bow, center, and the stern. So it could be easily taken apart for, for easy loading and unloading if you have a smaller vehicle. So they are being held together with these wooden pegs and it will not come apart. And also it's being held together with one, two, three, four of these one and a half inch six foot aluminum square tubes. Got this from my local store. And uh, basically, I drill holes on the tube and attach it on the kayak. So four screws, stainless steel three and a half, uh, one quarter size uh, stainless screws and nut. Whereas on the kayak side, I have these trailer coupler pins that can be easily taken apart. No screws are needed. And these are the angled that I got from uh, Amazon. They are stainless steel and it's pretty uh, thick. And also there are backings underneath the uh, four screws. So it will hold up very good. It's not gonna rip off your uh, kayak. So this is my uh, outrigger kit from uh, Expandercraft that I just put it together within the uh, past two weeks and later on this area I'm gonna put a Suzuki 2.5 horsepower outboard on it so I will be covering uh, a lot of grounds and save a lot of times on my fishing trips so here it is the Aruga Kid from Expandercraft. My kayak is 13 and 3 inches in length and this outrigger kit is 13 foot long. So it fits perfectly in size and it looks pretty good too. Oh forgot to mention that uh, I also got this uh, tarp from uh, eBay and I made a special request to have uh, grommets, nine grommets on each end. So I just used a bungee cord, bungee together, and I could put.
put my kill bag and fishing tackles, whatever I need, just place it on this platform. Because Revolution 13 does have a limited space and uh, not much gear I could uh, carry with me. But with this, I could put a lot of stuff on there, on the deck. Of course, this is not for sitting, it's just to, um, to put my fishing stuff, fishing gears on it but during the crab season i'm gonna have a aluminum deck here and put all my crab pots and go out so make it easier pulling the crab pots in the future i will also put the aluminum deck so i could bring a person out with me so he will be sitting there i'll be sitting here and we could uh, go out to do some uh, fishing so capacity wise for the outrigger kit uh, is by each section so the bow and the stern they are 40 pounds each and the middle section is 80 pounds so if you add up together that's 160 pound capacity in addition to your kayaks uh, for my kayak is uh, 350 pound capacity so 350 plus 160, you get a 510 pound capacity. So I will be able to bring in a person, maybe 150 pounds or less, to go fishing with me. So yeah, this is the uh, outrigger kit from Expander Craft. It looks uh, pretty good. And uh, for sure, it will make my fishing experience uh, much better without worry about flipping during the uh, big swell periods if I'm happy to go uh, pulling crab pots and fishing so here is my outrigger kit from Expander Craft so I hope you guys uh, like it uh, if you guys think of getting one go to the website order the parts, the kit and put it together on your kayak Look at this creature. Oh, why are you pee on me? Oh, cool. Look at you. Very cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look at this gopher. Look at this gopher with the shrimp. Gopher. What's up, James? Oh, yes. How is it for? No, this is not for sitting. No, I can't. No, I, I don't think so. No, it's not strong enough. Yours is strong enough, so you're, you're okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna add a deck on so you could, you know, sit on it next time. 
No drift. Oh, I didn't get down there. Uh, right there. They got limit. Yeah, around this area. Whoa! What up? How you doing? No bite on the chrome? Nah. Well, I'm using Apex too, but <laughs> yeah, already, no, no, no hookup, nothing. Rawfish is okay, steady. Not, not too crazy, but steady. Yeah, it's gotta work for it. But I'm, I'm not, I'm lazy. I'm just gonna let it drift. <laughs> Look what I got on the way back. This little trout. That's good. All right. See you next time when you get bigger. <laughs>